Hi, I'm Bob Cram, and today we're looking at VR Ping Pong Pro, a new ping pong game for VR headsets. I'm currently using the HP Reverb, and it's looking pretty cool. First thing, I'm just going to go through the options. All these lovely languages you can select. Change the grip. Now, normally when I play table tennis, you have a hand grip like that, so I had to spin that around slightly to get that kind of grip. The default is something like that. Then obviously you can change the height and distance from the table when you're actually in the game. Got various audio options, rules of the game, credits, etc. Now the modes that are available are arcade mode to give you all these kind of things that you can use to hone your skills. Then you've got various locations across the globe. So that one's New York, I think. That's somewhere in Japan. That's uh, Brazil. And then you've got these other locations as well to play in. You can unlock skins by beating opponents. These are the ones I've unlocked so far. Pretty basic stuff. Seems to be quite a few. And you can unlock different ball colours as well. Cool. Now there is a World Cup and multiplayer. If I select that now... You have to find an opponent, which is pretty damn hard, but you do then enter this fantastic, brilliant arena. But there is an arena option where you're just right in front of loads of... Well, I think this is it. Okay, now we're in the play. Look at this. Hundreds of people, thousands of people watching. This is what it's all about. This is what you've come to play. People cheering, there's just big monitors. This is it. But unfortunately, you can't play any of this in single player. You've got to wait for an opponent. And you might be waiting for 10, 20 minutes, an hour, two days. So unfortunately, this is just locked out for you. It's kind of a bit of a tease and a bit of an oversight. So come out of here. A shame, a huge shame that they didn't include that as one of the starting elements that you can play with so let's just play war for quickly just to show you one of the mini games damn what a tease are oh, we actually in that same area now so Oh, yeah, I do find the ball a bit weighty. Get a rally going here. Oh, lucky. Yeah, I find the physics a bit hit and miss. Oh, shouldn't have missed that. I think my highest score is about 5,000. I'm not going to get that this time. So 1,400, absolutely terrible. And no reaction from the audience at all. Bit of a shame there. Maybe they should work on that. Just to give it a bit more atmosphere. Let's try something else. Goal, table tennis. But at least you can play in that environment. Okay, we are now in Japan. Not sure what I have to do here. Score the goal. Oops. Yes! See, look, no sound effects. Oh, goal's getting smaller and faster. This is going to help with your accuracy. Unlucky. So it's a good training exercise. Oh, that goal is getting much smaller and faster.
and you're losing points for messing up. Not bad. New record. Okay, so let's go to one of the environments now. Let's go to New York, I think. Five levels of difficulty. We put it on level one. So obviously you can adjust the options before you play. Over here, which is fine. Right, let's go. Let's do this against the Melon Man. Oops. Oops. Not bad. We can do this. So let's just show you a bit of a spin. There's a dot on the ball, as you can see there. So there's a slight spin. So what this game does really well is offer that nice sort of ambient atmosphere like you're in a park here playing people around you can't believe he got that back oh Oh, he's good at getting them right on the edge there. Right, two more points. We can do this. Right, here we go. Match point or set point. Oh! I kind of messed that up. Okay, done. And then you swap sides. Alrighty then, so you can see in the background, I'm not sure this is New York. It doesn't look like Central Park to me, but who knows. So you've got all these people around, you can hear them in the background. Right, so you notice a bit of spin on the ball there, sort of curving to the right. But it's not easy to do those kind of shots. Nicely done. That's it. That's it. Some great serves there from me, if I have to say so myself. Not so great on the returns. So I think some people will enjoy these ball physics. Oh, unlucky. But they are sort of more on the simulation side rather than arcade. So if you played a game like Racket Fury, for example, whoops which offers you that arcade and simulation mode where the arcade mode is just a fun mode that you can play just to let off some steam there you go 2-0 skin unlocked well a bit boring let's try a different location right, we've already seen the Japanese one let's go to this one let's try level 2 this time I'm probably going to be thrashed now Well, this is a really cool location. Apart from you've got a lot of distracting people walking along. There's one lady in particular who's quite distracting. And now there's a guy up there who's distracting. Someone watching football, listening. I mean, the way they've done the environments are, it's really cool. I mean, it's nice. But unfortunately, there's no participation from any of these people watching. There's no cheers are just people milling about it would have been nice to have them clap maybe and whoa yes it's really hard to do the forehand oh there she goes no that's a different one. Oh, nice That was a good serve. Oh.
Yeah, nice bit of spin on that ball there. So yeah, I mean, the game does take a bit of practice. But I can never get my forehand smashes over here very easily. It seems to always go too hard. Like that. Oh, terrible, giving it away here. Now I have put in many, many hours in Racket Fury in simulation mode and arcade mode. So I'm not inexperienced with VR tennis, table tennis games. We actually won a set. Cool. Yeah, he doesn't like that side at all. See that spin there, the ball curving around, that's pretty good. It just went straight through him. And again. Wonderful serves. Oh, look at that. 8-0. Can we do it? Two more points. The straight set. No, he's put it in the forehand and that just rubbish. Oh, no. Something's gone horribly wrong. Right, ma uh, set point or is it match point? It's match point and he's done it, yes. Fried egg. Ooh. Okay, so we've been to Brazil, let's try this location. The level two is not bad. I'm not fussed about my fried egg pad. So this is a wonderful arcade now. Now look at that down there. It's all happening down there. As I say, a lot of attention has been put into these environments. And they are pretty damn good. But are we here to look at the environment or to play the actual game of table tennis? Oh, right over there. And I mean, if you haven't got a full play space available, you kind of have to be very careful of where you're leaning in for these kind of shots that are slightly off to the side. You don't want to punch a hole into a TV or or right on the line. No, it messed it up. So it's good that the computer does make mistakes. Not flawless. No, I just really have to practice that forehand. It's very hard. And you notice it's quite a slow paced game as well. I'm not really able to smash it. The ball just see the ball just seems to float across. Oh unlucky. Terrible. Swap sides. Out. Again, good to see that the computer makes mistakes. Yeah, it's just hard to get that forehand over the net. So yeah, I mean, I think there is limited and how you can do your slicing and smashes and get that spin. I mean, it's okay on the serve. Look at that. But in a return shot, it's not easy. Whoops. Oh. Oh, unlucky. 
we should bring it back here, don't I? See the forehand is just so hard. No, mess it up. Okay. Last environment. Which is the lowly garage. Whoops. Yeah, nice uh, sound effects in this one. Because you're in a more confined space. Oh. Three nil. Oh, that is just impossible. Look at that. There's no way I was going to die for that. Uh, what goes around comes around. Yeah. Oh. Oh, nice. So I did actually do a forehand there. I wasn't able. Oh, unlucky. Wasn't able to slice it in any way. Ha! It's good. I like the way that AI does miss it and get out quite often. Unforced errors. But remember, we're only on level two here out of five or six. Nice shot. Cool. Dog barking there. Can we do this? See, now why would I knock it out of the... Out. Nicely done. There's your overall tally. Okay. Can we do it this time? Oh, lovely serve. Nice. Come on, you can do this. Oh, beautiful return. Whoops. Yeah, really hard to gauge the forehand because you either hit it too hard or too soft and you hit the net. Oh, oh, oh that was just in. No, oh, not bad. Come on, we can do this. Oh, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Oh, don't mess it up now. Got a comfortable lead. Out. This is it, match point. That's it. Game set and match. Ooh, flame. Flame pad. Okay, well. So, my closing thoughts. Yes, it's an interesting game. It's got some uh, good gameplay to it, but unfortunately, it's very basic at present. I mean, you should be able to play this World Cup mode in single player, for starters. And the physics as well, the, bat, the sort of return, you're not able to get that spin as, as well as you should be able to. Uh, so, a bit of tweaking then the game does have some good potential. But as it stands right now, it's very much uh, a pretty looking game. But it just needs a little bit more oomph to make it highly recommended. At the moment though, I think if you're into looking into a VR table tennis game, then Racket Fury is definitely the better option right now. But this does have a lot more potential in terms of its environment and it's gameplay if it can step up a bit more which the developers have said that they're going to try and add more stuff to the game but obviously that doesn't help if you want to buy it now okay i'm rob cram thanks for watching i'm out of here